Hey guys, my name is Kelly and today I'm partnering with Dove to share all about my hair damage story. So I have naturally curly hair. My curls are pretty loose. They would be under the 3A category. I had curls as a kid. My mom would obviously do my hair for me as a child, but as I started to get a little older, I wanted to do my hair on my own, and I honestly did not know what I was doing. I had no education on curly hair. At that time, a lot of the women in my family who did have naturally curly hair would blow their hair out. That was very popular. So as a little girl, I kind of would brush my hair thinking that that's what everybody did, and that made my hair look really wavy and frizzy and kind of like a puffball. As I got older and became a teenager, I started experimenting with my curls. I started using products that were most popular at that time. I used a lot of gel, a lot of mousses that just were not good for my hair. I had like kind of a hard cast on my hair. It looked like my hair was wet at all times. <laughs> Around this time, I became really interested in straightening my hair. A lot of girls did it in my high school. For every job interview I had, I wore my hair straight. For every special occasion, I wore my hair straight. I just had that idea in my mind that straight hair was better. I didn't even know to use heat protectant spray or heat protectant serum. So needless to say, my hair became very damaged. On the days that I didn't straighten my hair, I would try to curl it. But at this point, my hair was over it. My hair refused to curl anymore. And it was kind of just a limp wave. I did not feel confident in myself. I didn't feel confident with the way that I looked because of my hair. So I wanted to get my hair chemically straightened and that lasted around six months. And then months later, I began looking at YouTube videos. I began seeing influencers who were giving curly hair tips and natural hair tips and I fell in love with their curls. I thought their curls looked so beautiful and I thought, wow, I wonder if my curls could ever look like that. After I made this decision, I started trimming my hair a lot more often so that I could get rid of the chemically straightened parts of my hair. I had like this whole section of my hair straight and then I had my natural curly roots coming in so my hair looked very strange. I did not know what I was getting myself into. I definitely knew that I wanted my natural curls. I didn't know what they were gonna look like. I didn't know what products I had to use. It was a lot of trial and error but I did it. The first thing I did was stop straightening my hair and totally stop applying heat to my hair. The next thing I did was I dyed my hair less. I wish I could say that I completely stopped using box dye, but again, this is all a process and it took me some time, but eventually I stopped. The next thing I did was I stopped using products that I knew were not good for my hair and I started doing research on products that were good for my hair. I wanted to learn about brands that were passionate about natural hair and its health. Some products that would work perfectly for that stage of your curly hair journey, as well as all throughout your curly hair journey, are Dove's Hair Therapy Breakage Remedy line. This line is awesome. They work at your hair's cellular level to protect and nourish your hair, to moisturize your hair, and help avoid breakage. And like I said, I had a lot of pieces of my hair sticking up top right here, a lot of breakage, a lot of uneven um, hair. So I love these. This is the shampoo and conditioner as well as the leave on treatment. So I learned how many times I should wash my hair within a week, which for me, it is twice a week. That can vary for everybody depending on your hair type, depending on hair product buildup and things like that. I learned the importance of deep conditioning your hair. Everyone should deep condition at least once a week. If your hair is really damaged, maybe twice a week. And then the correct order of styling product application. So for me, I personally like to use either a leave-on treatment, a leave-in conditioner of some sort, and then use a light cream as a base and then seal it all in with a gel. Taking those steps have really, really improved my hair. 
For me, as you can see, I have a loose curl pattern, so I really like lightweight gels. I like moisturizing gels, and I feel like that's pretty hard to come by these days because a lot of gels are drying on your hair. So this one in particular is not, and that's because this actually has flaxseed in it. I love the fact that my hair can feel big and voluminous, but also still defined. It smells amazing. I love that sweet floral scent. It smells so good. So when I style my hair using this gel, I put it in my hands. I rake it through my hair until I feel that I've saturated my hair in the gel. And then I scrunch, scrunch, scrunch until I can't scrunch anymore. So one of my favorite hair hacks for curly hair has to be diffusing. I call it a hack because I get questions all the time from people who have no idea how to use this. <laughs> Again, remember that if your hair is damaged, you don't want to be diffusing until your hair is completely healthy. After I've washed it in the shower, I add my styling products in. I try to let my hair set with the products in my hair for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much free time I have. And then once I'm ready to diffuse, here's what I do. So I take a section of my hair, enough that would fill into the diffuser cup. I don't want to overflow the diffuser cups. And then I gently pull the diffuser cup up to my scalp, then I turn it on. I like to keep the settings on low fan speed and low heat. And I only keep the diffuser on when it is in place on my scalp. Once I feel like my scalp is getting a little too warm, maybe 30 to 45 seconds, I then turn off the diffuser, pull it downwards, and continue doing that all over my hair. Another tip when it comes to diffusing is you wanna diffuse your hair upside down. This helps with volume, allowing your roots to dry upward. And I also flip my hair from side to side over and over again. And again, this just helps give your hair so much fullness and volume. So as I continued taking these steps after months and months and months, which even led to a couple of years, I finally started seeing results. I started noticing my hair was growing in differently. I started to notice the definition, the shine, and I was just so excited to see that my hard work was actually paying off and that I was doing something right. <laughs> How do I feel about my curls now? I love my curls. I feel like my curls are an extension of me. Um, <laughs> I'm happy to be known as Kelly, the one with the big curly hair. I love that. <laughs> What I learned from this journey was not only how to manage my hair, but how to accept myself, how to embrace myself, not only from the outside, but the inside as well. And that just makes all the difference to me. That's why I love my hair journey so much, is because it helped me to grow in so many different ways. And that's why I'm so passionate about helping other women do the same. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know about your hair damage story in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this one, definitely subscribe to Dove's YouTube channel. Bye.